Hello, my name is Ruth. I'm 34 years old and I had my two strokes when I was 30. It sort of took me on a bit of a roller coaster. Now I live with my parents. I have a bit of a aphasia. Aphasia? If I stumble over my words, that's why. <laughs> Today I'm on the train to Glasgow where I'm meeting Dr. Terry Quinn who researches stroke and how to improve the level of care for the survivors. So Ruth, what would be really interesting for me as a researcher is to hear a wee bit about, about your stroke journey. Well, when I got home from hospital, my mental health suddenly started going like rapidly downhill. Um, had anyone told you that that might happen? No. A few more weeks went by. I felt more like committing suicide. I didn't have a clue that the stroke was mm -hmm. obviously causing it. <laughs> You're not alone. A third of people after the stroke mm. have really serious problems with low mood or with anxiety. A lot of doctors don't make that connection either. It's the hidden effects that actually have such an impact on people's life. Yeah. Some of the research that we've been doing has been looking at problems with memory and thinking and that brain fog that people describe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something else to do with my strokes here is memory loss and forgetfulness. Last night, I actually, I lost this phone. <laughs> um, 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 just... <laughs> They're so under-researched and if we don't understand them, we don't know how to manage them third of my memory fails and I have slightly different ways of thinking than I used to. So it is difficult. How do we measure the quality of your recovery after stroke? How do we put a number to someone's mood? That kind of research maybe seems quite far away from cures or treatments, but it's so fundamental and it takes time and it takes people and that means it takes money. You couldn't do it unless people donated to the Stroke Association. If it wasn't for the support of all the people that give their time or give money to the Stroke Association, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Yeah, Stroke Association improves lives. Thank you, Thank you. Dr Terry Quinn. <laughs> this is not how life is meant to go, but sometimes it just does. Whatever happens, I just make the best of it and get on with it. <laughs>